classic and vintage car movement in India has never been better. World class restorations and cars that have taken the bar to the next level, collections that have really wowed and impressed in the last few years, and of course, the ease with which you can now import a pre 1950s car into India all mean that there will be more and more people whose aspirations of owning a vintage car will soon turn into reality. And with all these beautiful cars, there will always be a few car shows that stand head over heels with everything else bringing together the best of the country under one roof. And one of these shows is the 21 Gun Salute Concourse de Elegance, held in New Delhi once every two years. The 2020 edition of the show kicked off in style at none other than one of the most famous and important monuments of India, the India Gate. Over 50 cars and motorcycles flagged off from this sublime location, bang in the centre of New Delhi, towards the venue for the concourse, the Kama Lakelands Golf Course in Gurugram, where the cars were displayed. And as these cars made their way through Delhi and Gurugram towards the venue, the fact that these absolute works of art were amongst the hordes of two-wheelers, rickshaws, scooters, buses and more modern cars made it a real sight to behold. This year, the 21 Gun Salute played host to over 200 vehicles in some very special categories. They included classes like the Edwardian, Pre-War American, Pre-War European, Post-War American Coupe, Indian Heritage and Preservation class. The event also featured one-make classes like Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Volkswagen and Jaguar Daimler. Now, if 21 Gun Salute as a show was the bakery and the cake, these cars you see here are definitely the cherries on top. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pebble Beach class, one of the most coveted classes this year at the show. A brilliant Stutz, a very, very cool Fiat, a lovely Lagonda, the most valuable car in the country, probably that Rolls Royce there, and a beautiful Bentley. And all of these are here together at the same time, in the same place. What a visual treat this is. The most valuable, probably some of the most valuable cars in the country all together in one place at one time. Just amazing. The 2020 running of the 21 Gun Salute also saw a special class for MG, a brand that of course made its entry into the Indian market in its latest avatar in 2019. This year though, apart from a static display including iconic sports cars like the TC and TD, along with an extremely rare model like the YT, there's also a special drive organised for the owners of these classic MGs. We also caught up with Adam Sloman, General Manager of the MG Car Club in the UK, and this is what he had to say about the event. I knew that there were classic cars here in India, but I wasn't expecting A, the, the array, and B, the quality of the cars. Um, and the passion that these guys have got for their cars is, is equal to anywhere I've been in the world. But yeah, amazing selection of cars. There's a couple that stand out for me. There's the, uh, there's the YT, uh, the 1950 YT. Um, we never see those in the UK because they're virtually extinct. So to see one here in the quality that that car is and the fact that the guy has done 800 miles in it already since he restored it and he drives it every Sunday, that's fantastic. One of the unique features about the 21 Gun Salute is the fact that the few cars from around the world are always invited to join in and go head to head with the best that our country has to offer. This year there was participation from Europe and North America including this, an extremely pretty Maserati 3500 GT Vignale that came all the way from Belgium and this Rolls Royce 2025 Gurney Nutting that came from Canada. Now this is definitely my favourite category of the 21 Gun Salute, it's the post-war European category and it's the kind of stuff that was on my bedroom walls and it was in magazines and books and the newspaper when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, that Ferrari back there is a 365 GT4 in the same category, uh, the only one in the country, quite rare. Uh, not very well liked with some collectors but I think people are really growing to that body style. This of course is an Aston Martin DBS, now the DBS is the nomenclature that Aston Martin has used recently. And of course, uh, this particular car is very famous because it used to be a Bond car in the past. Well, not this particular car, but this generation of car. And also very famous for its star role in a uh, British series called The Saint. Extremely popular on the television there. Very, very pretty British muscle car of the 70s. Such a cool looking car. Another cool car, of course, the Alpha 2000 GTV. Uh, another Alpha Spider. Very, very cool 1600 Spider. The very iconic Mercedes-Benz Pagoda. This actually had a recent restoration, but there's another car here in this category that's really, really caught my eye. And that is this here. Now this is a 59 Alfa Romeo 2000 Touring. 
and Turing stands for Turing Superleggera, which was a, a coach builder of sorts that actually made this car. And look at it, it's just achingly beautiful. The Turing badges on the bonnet, these lovely power scoops and the split bumper. What a pretty looking car of the era. And of course, compared to the Alpha, another Alpha that's standing next to it, which is a 2600 Sprint, just look at the difference in the two body styles, both so pretty. And of course, then you have the 220 SE from the Goenka collection. Such a lovely collection of beautiful cars in this category. Other special classes this year included the rather cool Ford Mustang class, which had a fair few entries from cars that were number matching original to the T all the way to resto mods. Now, while for a lot of people, the typical American 60s car is something like this, filled with a lot of chrome and overstyle, my definition of a 60s American car is something like this. The muscle car era was definitely one of the most exciting time for motorists anywhere, and uh, the Dodge Charger is one of the kings of the muscle car era. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the Dodge Charger name, of course, through the Fast and the Furious franchise, but that is a second-gen Dodge Charger, the more popular one. And we'll take you to see one of those uh, also at the show, back there a little later, but this one, is the one that I think we should talk about first. This is a Gen 1 Dodge Charger, the one that's, well, not very, very popular with the muscle car audiences, but it's iconic nonetheless, because this is where it all started. Massive V8 under the bonnet there. This particular car, also a four bucket seat car console in the middle. This car, of course, the 67, the first gen was uh, introduced in 66, just the two years that this body style was made. And of course, it has the very iconic pop down or hidden away headlights, which is an option but overall, a freshly restored car, and what a beautiful car to have at the event. And here is the other Charger that we spoke to you about earlier. This iconic shape made visitors stop and take notice, and yes, if you are wondering, it does have a massive V8 under the bonnet that would make Wind Diesel froth at the mouth. Now, everybody who loves cars knows exactly what livery that is. That, of course, is the famous Herbie livery from the movies, which really made these very, very popular. Uh, this year, as a part of the festivities, 21 Gun Salute has a special VW class, and it's not just for the Beatles that we see behind us in various forms, including, of course, the oldest Beetle in the country, which is a split window. But we also have a VW Fastback uh, and a lovely original variant with some great patina on it. And uh, these kind of cars, these sort of unrestored original cars, is what I personally like, but the the variation in the VW class is what really makes it stand out. And of course, these were people's cars. To see them on the concourse lawn is always a great feeling. Now, we can't take a minute to not mention the lovely Rolls-Royce and Bentley classes with cars that stood more regal than almost everything else on the lawn at the 2020-21 Gun Salute. And a special mention to the preservation class that celebrates cars in its absolute, original, unmolested and untouched states. True time capsules. And now that we've seen almost all the stunning cars at the 21 Gun Salute, time to take a look at some of the big winners. The Best in Class award for motorcycles went to Arjun Oberoi's 1947 Indian Chief 1200, while the big winner of the day was Johan Punawala's 1949 Bentley Mark VI Saloon with a Hooper & Company body that was once the prized possession of the Maharaja of Mysore. Other notable winners were Amal Tanna's 1919 Packard Twin 6 that won the Edwardian class, Vivek and Zita Goenka's 1961 Ford Thunderbird that won the post-war American class, the 1952 Split Window Beetle that won the Volkswagen class, and the 1962 Mercedes-Benz 220SE that won the European class respectively, and Aditya Malik's 1965 Jaguar E-Type that won the Jaguar Daimler class. The Pebble Beach category went to Diljeet Titus's 1930 Stutz Series M Speedster, while the Rolls-Royce class was won by Gautam Singhania in his 1939 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith. Ninth edition of 21 Gun Salute International Vintage Car Rally and Concourse Show was very special this year because more than 150 cars came from all parts of India, different states, arrived here, and like the condition of cars were amazingly better than previous years. Uh, the 10 cars which have arrived from Canada, US, France, Germany, Belgium, that has graced the event more better. And the best part of this event was is the 35 jury members from different countries. And 24 among them are the best chief class judges uh, from the Pebble Beach. With another successful running of the 21 Gun Salute, it has proven to be most certainly one of the best classic and vintage shows in India, if not in this side of the world.